hello everyone thanks for joining i know i have been uh, it's been a while be- uh, since i last streamed uh, i had some uh, personal matters to attend to so that is why i got delayed while streaming but uh, i'm back now and hopefully we can continue for a longer time so i hope my entire wolf pack is doing well hope uh it's everything's going fine 2020 uh, 2021 is better than 20, 2020 for you so let's get started uh today since it's a new year and it's my first stream of the new year i did uh do one before but that was more of a rerun so since it's my first stream uh we're starting with a new game also in the plants vs zombies series this is the second part of plants vs zombies so the gameplay is similar it is uh, still the very same mechanics but there are lot more levels and there is a time travel uh, mode included as well as some other uh, modes and uh, many new plants and zombies so let's see what it's about let's start okay so here we see a trailer okay there seems to be tombs and you know uh, this is this seems to be something like egypt because there are archaeologists explorers so probably going with the time travel mode so let's play through with the fundamentals let's see how it works so we see the regular zombie and the cone heads so okay so you can see something like a dinosaur skeleton right there okay our basic pea shooter is here so this is again going to be a tutorial so let's just play through it maybe there will be something related to the story mode in here so we'll just keep planting pea shooters so for those of you who have followed my gameplay of plants vs zombies one this is almost similar to the very first level we had played in plants vs zombies one just keep planting pea shooters and beating the zombies in the lanes okay so the wave is here just regular zombies and i think they are all done so kaput i like we can keep planting pea shooters and the zombies won't be able to do a thing so we now get the sunflower of course the pea shooter costs 100 i can also see some kind of symbol there probably has some significance mm, so here we get sunflower it also has a different symbol to it seems like a sun so probably uh, they are given symbols as per they are uh, what effect they have so sun tar of course gives us additional sun let's continue on to level 2 of the tutorial is it still the tutorial yes it is so still more regular zombies we have one pea shooter so let's just plant sunflowers as they tell us okay plant sunflowers behind pea shooters to protect them the more sunflowers you have the faster you can grow plants yes so this is again similar to what we had in uh, evz1 so i think three sunflowers are enough to keep three lanes busy so now i think we can just go ahead with pea shooters okay so nothing difficult of course the tutorial will be easy it will get trickier as things go by okay, the flag zombie is the last one standing and he loses his head and the flag so this one's done and we get another familiar plant the walnut 
okay it blocks off zombies and protects your other plants yes similar to its function in the previous game again it has some kind of sim symbol to it so we'll probably learn about these symbols later okay so first of course the sunflowers so we we have three walnuts already planted here so we just need to plant the sunflowers and the pea shooters these regular zombies are not going to do any kind of damage to the walnuts they are too weak ok the cone heads are a bit more trickier so but two pea shooters protected by walnuts need, uh, should keep it at bay ok there goes the cone so the graphics are definitely an improvement over the previous game of course uh, this one was released quite later so that of course is something that you would expect so there goes the final zombie and another familiar one the potato mine so you can see the symbols uh, the logos towards the top left hand corner for each of these plants is different so probably something to do with their function ok ok so potato mine explodes on contact but takes time to arm itself yes yes what we know already ok so we have 9 potato mines already planted there no mines are powerful explosives that need time to prepare yes okay, but they are all ready do we even need to plant pea shooters here we have 9 potato mines all ready to explode I guess we'll just plant a single line of pea shooters and tall nuts and then just wait for things to happen let's plant some more potato mines keeping that we need to learn how to use them let's see if it takes as much time to charge up as the first game ok we just lost that one so I think it definitely but uh, the plants I can see here are recharging much faster than the first game I know the walnuts and the potato mines the cooldown for planting them again were quite long but here it seems faster the cost seems to be the same but also we get more sun so in the first game the sunflowers and the falling sun both were around 25 but here it's 50 but the cost of the plant is still the same so ooh these that potato mine almost you know charged itself off before it was eaten but we won so it's fine okay another plant the cabbage pulled we got the cabbage pulled quite early this time in the last game we got it towards the very last levels the roof levels and this one has another symbol to it hurls cabbages over obstacles at the enemy yes so let's see what it signifies ah the graveyards ok so looks like our plants can damage graveyards so in the first game they could not really do it I think I should plant some sunflowers as well I do not have any sunflowers got too busy planting the cabbage pulls definitely need some of these cabbage pulls but we also need to keep our sun production 
okay so we busted a grave so it looks like in this game the other plants can damage the graves in the first one it was only the grave buster which could do anything about it oh we lost a walnut there but we got it back quickly okay the flag zombie is the last one to fall waving his flag defiantly ah we got a bottle of what looks like hot some ketchup okay so let's see what the ketchup does ah crazy dave's back hey neighbor ah hot sauce okay he has some tacos again that cannot be good okay, i think this is the same taco that he had during the first game and he just finished it off this time okay so yeah it signifies why he says i've been holding it on forever so most likely a reference to the taco he had in the first game okay that was amazing i want to eat that taco again i need my time machine okay so here's where the time travel starts to eat that taco again i need my time machine yes okay crazy dave and pen okay so this contraption of his is called penny okay so it i think is the same van which he used as the shop in the first game Yeah, and the user who can process my place. Okay. Yes, so that's what it looks like. Dave wants to go back. Time to eat his taco. Okay, let's go after Dave's taco. Okay. So I think we did the time travel bit. ancient egypt okay yes so our guess was right this is ancient egypt please wait 4500 years for your taco to be ready more or less oof that definitely doesn't smell right okay so i'm sure there were no tacos in ancient egypt so I doubt they had any kind of junk food. Okay, but there are still plants, of course. So we have a pea shooter now. That plant looks hungry. Okay. Okay, I thought only the zombies ate things. So, of course, there's a chomper which eats things, but I doubt a pea shooter could eat anything. If only there was something that you could feed it. Okay, some new concept, I believe. plant food okay vitamins and minerals essential part of a complete breakfast okay drag the plant food onto the plant okay ah so it turned into a gatling pea and the food works on other types of plants it should that's the concept let's try it on the sunflower which we planted just now okay so the sunflower gives out a, a lot of sun and what happens when we plant it on the let's plant a different walnut and then find it okay ah it turns into metal wow so we have three lanes of walnuts we have to plant two more lanes and i also want to try out what happens with the potato mine and the cabbage pult so let's plant on the cabbage pult and see what it does with some plant food 
okay it attacks all lanes that's great okay the potato mine let's see what plant food does for it okay so there are uh, multiple potato mines so it shoots out three potato mines i think that was the best one but i like the cabbage pulled one as well just attacks all lanes and that's it that's all for this one okay we got some kind of map let's see what the map has map of space timeness a parchment of ancient lands with cosmic implications yes good news penny found a map to my taco no that is a space time map to the worlds we could explore okay mummies and pirates and cowboys oh my okay so i think we go to different worlds using the time machine we should be able to find some way to access the other worlds okay for now we need to go to ancient egypt Pirate sees the next level. Then there's the Wild West Frostbite Cave. So the difficulty is increasing. Pirate Seas and Ancient Egypt are easier. It has only two Yalapinos. Wild West and Frostbite Caves have three. Lost City has three as well. Far Future again three. Okay, the Dark Ages have four. So it gets trickier. Neon Mixtape Tour has four. Jurassic Marsh, okay. I think we'll be fighting dinosaur zombies then. They have four. Big Wave Beach has five. And Modern Day has five. So we can preview all of them. But uh, let's go into Ancient Egypt. So let's just review it. Okay, zombies infest one of Earth's earliest civilizations tackle mummified monsters and more under the scorching sun of Egypt circa 2500 BC okay so I think these are all the plants that we can get okay, sun boost plant food boost and something like looks like a pharaoh zombie so I think these are some of the things that we can get again you know you can see those symbols each of these plants has a different symbol Okay, I can s at least the repeater and the twin sunflower are familiar from the first game nothing else let's okay so right now we can't go to any of the other options let's just go into ancient Egypt start the first game so here we are now this looks like the map to my taco okay not really it looks like map to zombies this is the world map where we can find plants that can help us and there are more important things at hand yes definitely 
and the taco is the least of our problems right now since we are in, our, in ancient Egypt okay but crazy Dave can see nothing except his taco so I think we'll have to find it the next level has been unlocked okay so let's go and play it okay we have two sunflowers and a cabbage pole planted found some spare change okay then you're finally making sense okay so crazy if things pen is my finally making sense which does not make sense because I don't he, she found coins in ancient Egypt so she definitely does not make sense but of course crazy Dave being crazy Dave so why? because I'm crazy okay so we get lots of coins okay we can spend those coins on more plant food so let's do that we get thousand coins and we use it on plant food so because the cabbage pulled is quite good with plant food because I think of all the ones that we used that was probably the best okay, just let's just use it okay Okay, a new pharaoh kind of zombie uh, so it tried to steal sun if I'm not mistaken yeah that's what it does it steals sun I don't want to allow it to steal anything at the moment because I don't know if we can get that sun back so we got some more plant food since we are not going to be this is just the initial level I don't think we'll be needing plant food very much so I'll just keep it I'll just use it I'm sure in the later levels I'll have to save up on plant food if I want to stand a fighting chance especially against big waves okay so this is the final level huge wave the flag zombie goes down only the cone head left no I'm not going to be using my plant food on him I planted a potato mine but our cabbage took care of it and we get a new plant so this is a newer plant we have, have not seen this plant in the first game let's see what it does Bloomerang hits up to three targets in its lane twice. Okay. So let's continue. Level three is unlocked. Crazy to have such something to say. Penny, look above my head. Okay, that's a saucepan. It's a travel lot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Check out the travel log. Okay. So we have daily events and world. So right now we have only one option left. The world. We bloomerangs through several foes at once for double dealing damage. Complete ancient day three. Rewards we get a pharaoh zombie head. So that's our reward for winning this level so let's do this ancient egypt day 3 two bloomerangs okay they look complete like each other indeed they do use a dave but they are not okay the lower bloomerang is at max level 
packs a considerable punch. Okay, observe. No need for sun. Plants are coming special delivery. I think this is another of those conveyor belt levels that we had seen in the first game. Okay, yes, so definitely the lower bloomerang has a more stronger looking attack so let's try it out let's see how it works okay so i think all the bloomerangs we're getting now are the ones with stronger attack i also want to try out their plant food attack because not used it and i think we need to plant another bloomerang, the next bloomerang in the second row because that is the one with the lower level attack. Okay, let's try the plant food on that one because it seems to be having problems. I think that's it. So we get only five bloomerangs. No, we got a sixth one. Let's plant it right there. So the plant food does not seem to be carried over to the next levels. So we might as well just use it. So the bloomerang hits in all three directions. I think four if we have something behind it. It, will be, it is something similar to what we had with the star fruit but it is only useful when there are zombies to the side of it so in tricky situations where the zombies are closing in we can use it but otherwise it is not that useful for a full frontal attack we get a jar of something what did we get De okay win world keys defeat the hideous Gargantor of Egypt day 6 K okay. so this time the Gargantor is coming right on day 6 ok visit the travel log to claim your quest reward crazy Dave's jar of preserved powers use only in a jam do not use if the quality seal is broken Okay, so of course I would like to use those powers see what they do but for now we'll just go with the travel log see what it has to say okay we get a lot many things it's Okay, we get 10,000 coins. Okay. Something for the walnut. Okay, I think this is what we are speaking about when they are saying about in the levels. So, kind of like an RPG. we can go to the next level what would be helpful okay place where you can read about plants and zombies of course 